Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen and fight fans of all ages, thank you for being here today at Ken Gloves and a big thank you to Charlie Rumble for hosting us here today. Oh. Really appreciate it. And myself, Billy Nicholson, I'm very proud to be here this morning to be hosting the press conference and I'm very much looking forward to the 14th of October. This is the introduction of the WBU Semi-Pro UK and we'd like to welcome the owners. Firstly, Elena Mears and Darren, Darren Mears, and of course, to my left, the World Director, Mr. Roger Cole. Thank you for being here this morning, Roger. My pleasure. And also to my <coughs> left, we have Jack Thompson. Cheers. And to my right, we have Charlie Rumble, Terry Wright, and of course, Benny May. The WBU Semi-Pro is sanctioned by the WBU Germany. Our belts are the same as those used for the professionals and have been used and won by some big names such as Roy Jones Jr., Ryan Barrett, and four times world champion Scott Dixon. Just talk a little bit about the show at the Swallow Centre on the 14th of October. So the doors will be opening at 6 pm and the first bout will be at 7 pm. We have nine fights, of which five are title fights, including two WBU titles. This is the fight order for the evening of the 14th of October. Bout one is a WBU European lightweight eliminator fight, and that will be between Dean Ferrier from the engine room, and of course, Nick Seeger of Ken Gloves, who is here today. This will be decided over six two minute rounds. Bout two is a KBO novice heavyweight fight between defending champion Dale Jackson of KBO Gym and Aaron Pegg of the Titan Boxing Club. This will be decided over four two minute rounds. Bout three will be Bradley Marshall from the KBO gym versus Daniel Gabajobi of Titan Boxing Club and this will be decided over four two minute rounds. Bout four will be the KBO Kent welterweight title defence. The title holder Stephen Cook of Cook MMA Academy and Lee Noon of Kent Gloves. This will be decided over five two minute rounds. About five on the evening will be Ryan Short from KBO Gym and Sam Took of Titan <coughs> Boxing Club. This will be decided over four two minute rounds. About six is Jimmy Easton from Joe Eldiff's Gym and Mark Tolson from Doncaster. This will be decided over four two minute rounds. About seven is a WBU World Welterweight title fight, which is our main event of the evening, and both fighters are on the panel today and this is the first world title to be held in the UK on the, the WBU. So we have Benny May of Kent Gloves and Jack Thompson of the KBO Gym. This will be decided over 12 two minute rounds of world title boxing. About eight will be Jamie Douglas from the KBO Gym versus Hus Sakali from the Titan Boxing Club. This will be decided over four two minute rounds. And the final bout of the evening will be the WBU National Light Heavyweight Championship fight between Stuart Gold of the KBO Gym and Dave Webster of the Titan Boxing Club. And this will be decided over eight two minute rounds. So today we are here to talk about the vacant WBU World <laughs> Welterweight title fight which again is the first WBU world title fight to be held in the UK. <coughs> so we, it is a pleasure for us to, to hold it. So we are very much looking forward to it. And it's gonna be full over 12 two minute rounds. And the winner on the night must defend his title three times undefeated to keep the belt. And his first title defense will be on Saturday the 10th of March, 2018 and this fight is set at 67 kilos. So again, I would like to thank 
Mr Roger Cole for bringing this to, to Kent and bringing it to the UK. And we really look forward to this, to this fight <coughs> on October the 14th. So guys, we're now going to introduce the two, two gentlemen and they will talk a little bit about their training and about the fight coming up for the world title fight. So firstly, I'm going to pass you over to Mr Jack Thompson. Yeah, so this, uh, I've been training hard for it now. Um, obviously, Benny's the big name, everyone knows it. And I said to Darren, like, I've been talking about fighting for a WBE title for a long time. And I just said to Darren, I want to fight the best. And there's only one name really that comes into that, and that's Benny May. And I'm glad, obviously, thank you to Charlie and his team and putting it together. And to Darren as well for doing that. But yeah, I've been training hard non stop, six days a week. Smashing out, smashing all the cardio and that. Been traveling all over the country, sparring. But yeah, getting me prepped ready for this fight to take on, on the 14th. So, can't wait for it, take that belt home and then defend it again, like I say, in March. Fantastic, thank you very much, Jack. Jack. And now we will pass you over to Benny May. Benny May is the British, European and World IBA champion. He is also the GBBU Commonwealth champion and he has a record of 20 fights, 20 wins and 20 KOs. Anyway. <laughs> Morning guys, um, firstly I'd just like to thank um, Charlie for letting me train in the gym and for this preparation for this camp. Um, of course Terry, who's been a long friend of mine, um, an old adversary of mine who I fought a few years ago, decided, oh, um, decided to take this fight um, after speaking with Charlie, Elaine and Darren. Um, it's, a, it's a belt that I uh, hold in high regard that uh, friends of mine, I was only speaking with Ricky Atten um, uh, an evening with Frank Bruno a few weeks back about this belt, and he was telling me a few stories about it. Um, anyway, the opportunity arose, and I've been training now for over three months, like I always train, but this camp is, has been as good as it. I know a lot of fighters say that, but um, this camp has been the best camp that I've ever had in any, in any over the years, I've had many, many fights, and sometimes I cut corners, um, relying on my power and my ability to carry me through. This camp, I've not cut no corners, been sparring 12 rounds, week in, week out, good pros, fighters that I won't name that have just been fighting for titles recently in the last few weeks. Um, yeah, some may say I'm a little bit long in the tooth and um, been at it a long time, but in my eyes, I don't, I don't do this for financial gain. I do this because I love the game. And I'm lucky that I've got a massive, massive following. As if you haven't seen me fight before, you'll see on the evening. Um, me and Charlie have been boxing since we were young kids. And um, <clears throat> we've always been together. Terry's come in and helped us with the conditioning um, and a different outlook and a different game plan to what I normally have. And to say that I'm ready is an understatement. But I'm, I've been around the block enough, been involved in boxing long enough not to get overconfident and to approach it in a professional way. And on the 14th of October, you'll see the best of Benny May. Thank you very much, Benny May. <laughs> uh, that this point, I'd, I'd like you to sign this. Uh, it should, you've had a preview of that, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yes. Yeah, OK. Would you mind... Sign. There's two, two pages. Oh, oh. One's your copy, and one's uh... yeah. That's yours, yeah. I, I need to sign them as well. Do you want to witness these or? I can witness them for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mind doing that. Yeah. Check. Thank you very much. Gloves they wear in Bill as well, yeah? No, no, the gloves are coming from um, rival. Oh. Yeah, the fight gloves. Yeah. 
Vad fick du? Kaffe nu för det får inte mena. Är det inte bättre om för de avtalen? Alla. Alla var på gång. Ja, ja, i sjuk det kan man sjuk. Let's try that. I just want to yell. Can I just? Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, no problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Roger, would you like to say a few words, please? Well, we're, we're absolutely very pleased to um, be here today and to do this signing. It's uh, as you know, it's not one we've done before. At the moment, it looks like a sellout, and um, we're going to make it a very good venue, very nice venue for everybody. And we hope this is one of very, very many in the future. I'm just going to hand you over now to the owners and directors. So, Darren and Elena, do you have anything to say, Darren, please? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a 50-50 fight both. Trained very, very hard for the fight. Um, because, I mean, I, I want my lad to win. They both trained hard. Um, but he thinks he's going to win in the fights whoever wants it the most on the night. They both trained so hard. And yeah, it's going to be a cracking show all together. So good luck to both fighters. And now I'm going to hand you over to the man who's let us use his gym today, I'm King Cross, Charlie Rumble. Uh, thanks for all coming. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a cracking fight. Uh, I've known Jack for a long time, and Ben, Ben is like my brother. And um, I know all the hard work that Ben has put into this fight, and thank you for that. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a cracking night. And I uh, hope the winner fights the drink time. <laughs> so good luck both of you boys. Thank you, Charlie. And last but not least on our panel, I'm going to hand you over to Timmy the Tan. Right. Yeah, just um, I got a phone call three months ago. Benny phoned me up, asked me what I was doing, um, if I wanted to come down, stay up here, training twice, three times a day. Um, obviously, I took the job. I've been down here, it's like training a 19 year old at the moment. The levels, I just think on the night, no disrespect to Jack, but it's going to be different levels. You're going to see like, you're going to see the level of Ben and then like the level Jack is. It's like uh, amateur when they turn pro, it's all different levels in boxing. And I think Ben's very, very at the top of his game and at the top levels. So yeah, really looking forward to it. We've trained really, really hard. Um, ain't missed nothing out, down to the eating, we're floating on the weight now, so he ain't got to drain himself in the last two weeks. So we're just sitting comfortable. Um, fitness is there, uh, power's there, strong at the weight. Yeah, sparring, sparring's been unreal. Um, been bringing people in from France. Uh, my boy's been coming down, he's a professional as well, doing his uh, rounds with Benny. So he's had plenty of rounds, and uh, yeah, just really looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Terry. Ladies and as you will all know, this is going to be screened on a major television channel, which is London Live Telly. It will be shown roughly six weeks after the date of the show. So everything, the whole build-up from, we've done an interview at York Hall with Benny May, that will be screened on London Live, along with today's press conference, and of course the main event, and other fights will be on London Live on that evening.